Calling all artists, Gibbs Museum of Art is now accepting applications for the $10,000 prize for contemporary Southern art. Well, here to share the details is Jordan Spruill, Curator of Contemporary Initiatives and Visiting Artists, and Sarah Arnold, Director of Curatorial Affairs at the Gibbs. Ladies, good to have you with us. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your new post. Thank you. <laughs> so, so tell us, so when did you join the Gibbs team? So I am new to the Gibbs team. July, July, mid-July was my first day, wow. and so I am the rookie of the group, but <laughs> I'm excited to be there. I'm excited. But carefully selected, I'm sure. Yeah. So so your title is really interesting. Um, so tell us a little bit more about what it means to be a curator of contemporary initiatives. Yes, yeah, so we really want to um, spread the museum, our, our world, with the community and bring people in who aren't necessarily familiar with museum experience, with contemporary art. Um, and if that means, you know, working with my team to put on events that bring people in to really give these artists exposure, um, then, then that's what I'm here for. Yeah, and, and the Gibbs has a wonderful spectrum of art there. Yes. A lot of it is quite traditional and it does meld into contemporary art as well as mm -hmm. uh, sweet grass and, and a number of things. Yes. So maybe you can give our audience a sense of if people were to be able to walk through your doors, what they would find. Yes, you would see a lot of history as well as a lot of modernism in our artwork. I think um, a lot of our art tells stories of Charleston history, of Southern history, um, in a way that maybe um, new to some or maybe old to some, it, it just depends on yeah. on what the, what you're looking for, sure. honestly. And Sarah, it's a celebration of local artists, southern artists, as well as people from around the world. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yes, we're very lucky. Our collection is 300 years old, so we have something, I feel like, for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. So this 1858 prize, we, we like to cover this every time it comes around, and it's a wonderful way for people to who are artists to see whether or not they kind of reach the standard yes. of what the Gibbs Museum of Art is looking for. So maybe you can share with our audience what the 1858 prize is all about, um, kind of where it comes from, yes. and, and what artists next step is to do. Yeah, Sarah, do you want to <laughs> tell us a little yeah, yeah. bit about the history? Well, uh, yeah, I'll yeah. speak a little okay. to the history. Yeah. So yeah. this will be, I believe, the 14th year that we'll be awarding mm, the prize, uh, which is really exciting. It's really put us in touch with artists working throughout the Southeast, um, contemporary artists who yeah. have stories about the South, and they work in all sorts of mediums. Our previous winner last year, our 2021 winner, was Stephanie Woods. Mm -hmm. um, before that, Stephen Hayes and Dante Hayes both won, and we've acquired new works for our collection through the prize, which is exciting. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. had the pleasure of interviewing some yeah. of these winners mm -hmm. as well, which is exciting. Uh, so what are the standards that the Gibbs Museum of Art is looking for when they select the winner? Because the winner does receive a $10,000 prize and also Correct. exposure yes. at right. the museum as well. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And Jordan, you know, she can tell you that we're looking for artists that are from states mm -hmm. ranging from uh, West Virginia all the way to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to be connected to one of those states. And then um, we have nearly 300 artists that apply for the prize each yeah. year. So it's very competitive. Sure. So we get to see some of the best work that's in the Southeast. And typically, yes. what, what kind of media is used? So, so or submitted, I should say. Yes, yeah, so um, applications, the, the artists can apply online on mm -hmm. our website. Um, and then through there, um, a list of, or a group of panelists um, from artists to people in the just the art world professionals are able to select these artists um, to either be the winner or the finalist yes. that come up. And it's not just paint on a canvas though so there's a lot of media that gets submitted. Can you oh, give multi, us kind of, Sure. I yeah. mean, there are artists working with found objects. There are work, right. more mm -hmm. traditional painters, photographers, all sorts of media sure. uh, that contemporary artists are working in today. Yes. All right. So what is the deadline and what do people need to do? So the deadline for the 1858 prize is September 30th. Um, they can apply online at thegibbsmuseum.org, um, submit an application, and it will be up for review. Wonderful. And you make the selection when? We'll make the selections. The announcement will be in November. In November. Yes. All right. So it's a pretty short turnaround it by is. the time someone finds out whether or not they won the $10,000 prize. Yes. Well, that's very exciting, ladies. I want to thank you for sharing thank that with you. us. Thank get you. your submissions. Get your applications in. We're back after this.